folks, my name's Mark Lama from Superbia Real Estate and welcome to a really detailed walkthrough video here at number 11 of 21 Francis Ford Boulevard in Ford. There's lots to show you on this video, so stick with me. You might want to watch this prior to your viewing and two or three times afterwards. So this is the townhouse we've got. This is just a boutique development of townhouses, some single level and two storey ones. The one we're looking at is a really large two storey four bedroom on suite with oversized double garage. So let's start this tour out the front. Now you've got a visitor spot here which is first in first served but really uniquely in the driveway you can fit two full vehicles before you've even got into the garage. And it's worth noting that because townhouses aren't characterized by a lot of additional parking for friends or family and this one's got it. So into the courtyard where most people would otherwise come to visit but you'd be going through the internal of the garage if you drove in yourself. Just worth showing you some of the things here. So you've got your fold out clothesline. Uh, this is all uh, just a concrete base here. We've got a Renai Infinity hot water system. Um, and then we enter the front of the property through a crim safe security, do a security door. So uh, you can actually leave this all, uh, this door open and that security sh uh, door shut up. And we can close that down like that as well. So at the entry area of the property, let's just come through these formal living spaces and just appreciate how much space there is. So the square meterage of the property is gonna be one of the first things that capture you because it's substantially larger than most townhouses. You don't get a lot of four bedroom townhouses either. So all these formal spaces have high ceilings, you've got LED lighting there, you've got some under stair storage as well, which is a neat way to utilize that space. And you're going to use your furniture to denote a formal dining and a formal living area. Uh, you've also got outlets for Foxtel, pay TV, and data all here for you as well. And then there's sort of an open bulkhead that leads into a tiled uh, uh, family meals area. But also worth noting, we've got a sliding door access, also a crim safe security sliding door that goes out to an alfresco entertaining area. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later in the video. Now the property has full double glaze on all windows and doors, except that door just there and that window and these two windows. And that's because they're in the undercover or they look out to the alfresco area. But these windows, all the other ones you see in the property, are all double glazed. So in this area, we've got Roman blinds that come down to enclose this area. There's so many living spaces. There's actually another one upstairs we're going to show you shortly. So also these high ceilings, and then this extends into the kitchen area, which is really well equipped. So if we bring this camera in, we're gonna show you all the features of this, uh, all the inclusions in this kitchen. So you've got solid stone bench tops here and a microwave spot, lots of great storage drawers and cupboards. You've got your underbench dishwasher. Okay, that's a Bosch brand. And then you've got a one and a half bowl stainless steel sink there as well. Large tiles is your splashback. Uh, here is your range hood, which is a recircling range hood. More storage cupboards there. And then a four burner cooktop, and that's a St. George brand. And that oven, that underbench oven is an AEG brand. Have a look at that, absolutely pristine, perfect. But the kitchen is in the end there. On this side, we've also got your storage, uh, so your fridge and your storage space over, more cupboards here, and a stone finish there where you might put a jug or a toaster or whatnot, and a big pantry as well. And then, we're going to go through a sliding cavity door here. I'm gonna take you into uh, an additional toilet powdering area for guests downstairs. Have a look at that, you get your, uh, your toilet in your basin, uh, it's all able to be closed off with a, a swinging door, and then an additional storage cupboard just here. And now we're back in, into the laundry. The laundry is open through a swinging door here, we've got a corner tub, uh, storage underneath there as well. Uh, you can mount more storage along the ceiling, and there's gonna be where you put your washing machine and dryer up on there. A stone finished bench tops and excellent storage options and then we come through an internal access door into a huge oversized garage you can never have enough storage space uh, perhaps you've got additional bikes or a motorbike as well as two vehicles so you can easily accommodate that here so a few things to note you've got a, um, a remote garage panel lift door and the owners have gone to a lot of effort to actually insulate this um, which is really awesome. Um, it, it keeps that temperature equilibrium at a normal level, both summer and winter. And you actually can't see it in the video, but they've also put uh, special seals all around the outside to stop air and dust and whatnot blowing into the garage. 
Um, you've got an NBN connection on the property. That unit is located just up there above that fuse box. Um, and I wanted to show you how you can then come back in this door. So you've got two entry uh, doors into and out of the garage. Uh, and we're back at the, uh, if you spin the camera around, back at the entry we first started the video. Okay, that's just the downstairs. Let's go and check upstairs. You go in ahead of me. We're gonna go up, turn around one corner, and we're gonna be on the top landing level. So this is where you'll find all of the bedrooms, but you're also going to find this additional living space we spoke about. And I really like the idea that this can be quite a multi-purpose space. You know, it can just be a lounging or TV area for the kids, a rumpus area, a work from home space. Uh, gosh, it could be a little gymnasium area or yoga studio as well. Uh, your control units up here on the wall gives you your ducted uh, air conditioning, so that's heating and cooling uh, vents throughout the property. And awesome storage as well. Check out these slides doors they give you all this additional storage space uh, in these drawers so let's now go through the swinging door where I've got two bedrooms up this side of the property which is the east side of the property and then they're separated by the two bedrooms that share the other bathroom on the other side I wanted to show you the size of this bedroom just to give you an appreciation of how easy it is to have a king size bed, additional bedding furniture, chest of drawers if you like there. And then we go through a double glazed sliding door and we go out into a pergola covered timber terrace area. And just spin that camera around so you can see a bit of an outlook, that's the local shop straight across the road. But I think this is a lovely extension to your uh, living spaces here in the main bedroom and really private, no one's actually looking into uh, this bedroom or this part of the property. And then we come through, they've got carpets up here of course, we come through a sliding cavity door into a walk through wardrobe. And we walk through into the ensuite. So I just want to show you the hanging and shelving space available. And we come through into a really big ensuite. And everything in this property just seems to be oversized. So you've got your plantation shutters here, the toilet, full height tiling goes right to the ceiling here. Not one, but two vanities and a custom vanity, so it's a stone top. And you look at the amount of storage options all underneath here. Plus, we've also got fantastic storage over there for extra cabinetry over the top of these mirrors. And I want to show you this just to give you a perspective on size. Look at how big this shower is, so a massive recess. I like big showers, so I just wanted to show you that. Okay, let's come back through the road now. And we're going to look at the uh, bedroom number two, which sits right next door to the main bedroom and just shares just this one wall. And what I want to show you, and hopefully you can appreciate, is the size of this room. It is substantially bigger than most two bedrooms that you'll see. You've got dual double glazed windows that have that same aspect towards the shops with roller blinds. And then you've got double mirrored sliding built-in robes. So some shelving and hanging space that side and um, hanging space on this side. But you could have two single beds, you could have a double bunk, another one above, you could have extra furniture, you could have a king size bed. A lot of options for how the kids might use this space. Awesome teenage area. Okay, we spin the camera around and we come down to this part of the property now. So we've got another wing of bedrooms and bathroom. Uh, let's have a look now at bedroom number three. So bedroom three has a westerly aspect through double glazed windows. We've got dual blinds there, both a roller blind finish and uh, Roman blinds. And then to show you on the camera, uh, to show you here the amount of storage, hanging space on that side, storage and hanging, uh, so shelves and hanging that side, so double mirrored built-in robes. And that's reflected on uh, the room next door as well, bedroom um, number four, three and four these are. And so that's the same configuration, the sliding doors, right, with the robes hanging on this side and shelving that side and hanging that side, and then your aspect towards the west as well. Okay, now these bedrooms are then going to share this setup. So you've got a separate toilet room just immediately on the right. Okay, and then you've got a full bathroom. So not only do you have the corner shower, um, but you've got your custom vanity that, uh, with all that storage under, the same design and, and whatnot as the uh, ensuite, and a bath. Plus you've still got the full height uh, tiling, and you've even got a skylight in the ceiling. Okay, we are almost finished the tour, but stick with me. I need you to come back down the stairs, and I want to show you the external of the property. So remember, we've also got that front courtyard where we started the video, but we've also got a fabulous rear courtyard. 
And you know, we're here at about uh, 9.30 in the morning and look at the sun streaming into this alfresco area. So we wanted to show you this concrete base here um, and how this opens out into the rear yard. And it's a really usable space, so I can see this actually being utilised. Some townhouses don't offer a lot of external space. So we've got mature trees and shrubs along here, uh, privacy trees on the back, there's a, a mop top and a cherry there. And AstroTurf, which is the best grass of all, isn't it? No weeding, no mowing, no fertilising. Uh, it all just stays like this, looking beautiful, and gives a beautiful pop of green from inside. Um, and I love the aspect back into the property. And then I just wanted to show you as we finish up the video uh, for the actual property itself, through this gate, you can actually come and go. And if you've got kids, they could walk to the school right there, the shops right there, or go and hang out in the park right there. And I'm going to show you those in a second or so after this bit of the video. So let's cut away and check those out. So directly across the road, the local shops, so much convenience there for you, takeaways, cafes, you've even got aqua tots there for your kids swimming. Uh, and across the road, Bergman Anglican School, a superb school. Bus stops, of course, are just literally at your doorstep to take you to the town centre and fabulous walkways and trails throughout the suburb. Have a look at Heritage Park, it's less than 100 metres from your front door. Uh, so many awesome facilities there, Play playground facilities and whatnot to keep the kids entertained. They're going to spend so much time outdoors if Ford is your new location. You've got basketball courts, look at that half court there for you. These walking trails all throughout the suburb. Even the dogs are going to be happy at the local dog park, literally just down the road for you. Uh, you've also uh, will find that Ford actually sides onto Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary. Um, and so the suburb itself Itself, doesn't have any through traffic and these trails uh, and whatnot go all throughout the, uh, the area. More parks for you, uh, you could literally have a park crawl from one to another, ponds where you can feed the ducks and just uh, enjoy some tranquil water sanctuary there for you. All of this on your doorstep in the fabulous suburb of Ford.